What's up everyone and good morning. Uh, today it is going to be a quick one. Uh, today's Webflow Jam session. Um, so yeah, we don't have much to review from yesterday. Uh, the only thing I want to change is maybe these arrows to be a bit smaller. Um, so I'll just grab this left arrow and change it to maybe 12, 12 by 12. And this uh, right arrow here as well. Something like that. And I might <clears throat> move this arrow a little bit to the right just so it looks more centered. And I think that looks okay. Uh, we might play with that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so we have the arrows there. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna be just adding this content in here. So it's just a, a few div blocks and text blocks. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. So I'll start my timer, click start, and great. So we're in slide one here. So I'll hit Command K, add a div block in the slide, and I'll call this, um, yeah, left, left slide um, content. Nice. And then uh, I'll set it to a position of absolute and full. And then for the flux setting, I'll set it to flex center center. So anything we place in this absolute div will be um, in the center. So we had, we had to add an absolute div first because you can't initially add a flex setting to a slide. Um, so we added an absolute div there. And then I'll add another div. And yeah, just another div in there. And I'll call this left content wrapper. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Uh, basically because we're gonna have two div blocks, uh, one for this content up here and one for this content down here. And then we're gonna give it a flex setting um, of it is called here. We're going to say vertical and uh, yeah, space between. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and add the text. So we have battery, stay on the move, and this text here. So I'll hit Command K and I'll just say, I'll just say, uh, yeah, text block. And I'll call this, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, text left, text top. Um, yeah, my naming might not be great today, but uh, but yeah, so we have battery. So let's just type in battery in here and let's give it, let's style it a bit. So let's see. So it's going to be um, Rubik. It's going to be bold. And we're going to give it some letter spacing. Maybe four. Let's see what these are down here. So let's see, Rubik 700, bold, and letter spacing is two. All right, cool. Letter spacing and 10 for the font size. And then let's go in here and get that font color. So that color is this one. So I'll copy it from Figma and then I'll use it for this text here. All right, cool. Yeah, and let's, um, let's change the slider background color to this black here. So We'll select it and I'll copy and I'll change that background color uh, right there. Perfect. All right, so let's continue here. So we have the left content wrapper and let's see. All right, cool. So we have stay on the move. Um, so let's see left content and actually left text top. So I want to add another div block in here. So left content wrapper. So we'll have um, another div block and I'll say left content top and we'll place this here and then we'll play this left text top here. Okay, cool. All right, nice. And then let's see in the left content top, we're going to add another text block and this one's going to be, um, we'll just call it left content title. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And stay on the move. Cool. So let's see, stay on the move. Cool. And let's see, for the text, we'll say Rubik. And we'll change the font size to, what is this here? Uh, 14. So it's going to be a little bit bigger than 14 for these left panels. And I'll say white for the text. And we'll say Rubik light. All right, that looks pretty good. 
and then we'll add one more to the left content top so we'll add a text block and for this we'll just copy this text in here all right so my five minutes are almost up but we're almost done with this okay and that looks good so yeah let's style it so left content paragraph cool and I'll say Rubik and again we'll say Rubik um, yeah Rubik light and change the color to white all right cool so then for this left content wrapper let's give it some margin from the left and the right so I'll say something like 60 and let's give it some margin to each of these uh, text blocks so maybe something like 10 all right and yeah cool yeah, it looks pretty good let me remove these slide arrows so we have more space there and just remove all this navigation here um, so left content top and my time is just about up let's see left content wrapper and yeah, maybe something like that 45 I actually want to yeah align it with this so actually for all of this up here I'm going to let's see heading wrapper left panel heading wrapper okay I'm gonna say 40 for the um, the margin on the left for these here at the top just so it has a little bit more room to breathe and these arrows as well and then for this left content wrapper I'll say 40 as well all right so they're all aligned here on the left and it has a little bit more room to breathe and then all right left content uh, wrapper so now let's add the the last bit here at the bottom so I'll add um, another text block actually for this I want to add a div block and I'll call this left content bottom I think my five minutes are probably up now yeah left content bottom so yeah I'll just continue a bit a uh, little bit more and then here we're gonna set the flux setting to horizontal and I'll add yeah, I'll add an image. Yeah, I think that'll work. Image, choose image, and we'll grab the battery icon. That looks great. And then I'll add a text block in here. And then for this, we'll just grab that text up to 19 hours of playtime. Cool. And I'll paste in there. Uh, cool. And I'll say um, left actually I can use the same okay yeah left bottom content left content bottom text all right cool I think this text might be smaller at the bottom so we want to give it its own class name or actually it looks it looks the same um, as this but that's all right it'll give us some kind of freedom if we want to change that uh, particular text at the bottom so Rubik and white and cool and then maybe I'll make it yeah I'll make it a little bit smaller just so it's not the same as this at the top all right nice so I'll go ahead and let's see left content wrapper let's make it actually let me see here left slide content yeah let's just stretch this here um, the left slide content and then for the left content wrapper we'll give it a flex setting and we'll say vertical and then space between so notice this content is at the top and this content is at the bottom so now for the left content wrapper I'll just give it give it some margin from the top and the bottom just like that so it gives us a bit more control of you know how much space is from the bottom and the top here um, yeah so that looks pretty good so I know that was a lot of like divs and divs but basically we had the left slide content and here we have the left content wrapper and I wanted everything to be in this content wrapper so I could apply 
margin on the left and the right. And then I added another div block in here for the text at the top and this at the bottom here. And I also want to give this uh, some margin here so it's not so close to the uh, battery icon there. Cool. And let's see. Cool. So this is actually 14 pixels. Yeah, let's just change it to 14. All right, let me just check the spacing. So for this, I might add a little bit more margin to the bottom. Stay on the move. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. So battery, stay on the move, and nice. So I think we're done with that section. So let's go ahead and copy this left slide content to each slide. And then tomorrow we can go in and, and adjust um, the text so it matches. Uh, slide three, paste. Uh, slide four, paste. And slide five, uh, paste. All right, so let's see. So slide one, I'll just change the top here. So sound, sound, uh, pure, pure sound. And then uh, slide two. So we're matching it with these panels here on the right. I'll say wireless, uh, Bluetooth, cool. And slide three. Uh, okay, that's all set. So the first one we worked on was slide three and then slide four, uh, design. And this is focus on pure essentials. Nice, I like that it fits on one line. And here I wrote essentials wrong. And then we have, let's see, where's the slide? Okay, slide five. And this is uh, materials, materials, and pure, honest materials. All right, cool. And then we'll change some of this text here at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's jam session. Um, I think I do want to make these arrows a little bit smaller as well, maybe 30 by 30. And 30 by 30. Nice. All right, so let me publish, and that'll be it for today's jam session. So it was, yeah, just a lot of styling text and placing elements in div blocks. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the the content changes as I hover over each slide. Looks good. So I'm going to also add a fade effect to the sl slider. I don't want it to slide. Um, so slider two. So rather than slide, I'll say crossfade, and then I'll give it the duration of 200 milliseconds. And let me make sure that's the same for this slide uh, here. So slider, um, that's the one at the bottom. So slider two, 200 milliseconds. Um, yeah, let's change this duration here to 200 milliseconds as well. So it's a bit quicker. And I might change it to ease out so it's more consistent. Actually, that's a bit quick. That's too quick. All right, let's go back in. So yeah, the video is getting a little bit longer now. Um, so that's slider two and slider. So we'll say, yeah, 500 milliseconds. And we'll say um, ease out to keep it consistent. And then the same for this slider. We'll say yeah, ease out. And we'll change it to 500 milliseconds so it matches the, the larger slide. So we'll see how that looks. Hopefully it's not too much crossfading. Um, so I'll preview. Actually, that looks good. I like that. So it's nice and smooth uh, transitions. So I hover and perfect. Awesome. So yeah, that's, that's it for uh, today's jam session. I thought it was going to be close to five minutes, but it turns out it's probably going to be more like 12 minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the way it's looking. We're matching everything up here. Um, this text looks like it could be a little bit smaller, but it's actually the size that it says here in this Figma file, which is 14 pixels. Um, so we might just leave it 14 pixels. All right, cool. So yeah, that's it for today's jam session. Um, I'll quickly plug my um, my templates. So web dev for you. Um, yeah, if you want to get started quickly with Webflow, I have a few templates here in the shop. And yeah, and there's a discount code at the bottom, WFY-YouTube. Um, to get 20% off uh, any of the templates here. You can also check out webdev4u.com. Um, 
that's my my website where I offer yeah the templates that that you just saw the templates are here as well where you can where you can view them and uh, there's free interactions so a lot of animations here that you can play with and uh, tutorials which goes to my YouTube channel all right cool so yeah that's it for today's Webflow jam session uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next jam session